put up that night. <laughs> it's it's is it all it's always a learning process though right like every experience that you have you're putting into your your mental database of like how to deal with different conditions how to deal with different thoughts that come in your head oh yeah i i feel like it's a huge learning process and for me i think like i didn't really get a lot of regional experience you know i was three and two when i came into the tough house wow so i'm going on my next fight will be my 15th ufc fight to go three and two tough house and then Liverpool. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's so crazy. Oh, my God. What a wild ride. Yeah, so a lot of my learning experience was in the UFC. In the UFC in front of the whole world. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Chris Weidman, when he knocked out Anderson Silva, that was another one of those. How did that happen? What What is going on moments? Where, like, everybody thought that Anderson Silva was untouchable at that point. That was that moment where... You know, you realize, like, this sport is nuts. Even the people that you think are the greatest of all time, they can get cracked and knocked unconscious. Like, it ha- like Leon Edwards, when he knocked out Kamaru Usman in the last round, like, what? What? Kamaru? When he lands that head kick and you see Kamaru, who's, like, one of the most durable guys that's ever lived, he gets cracked, he gets back up, he seems fine always in every fight. And this one, he gets put out. It almost seemed surreal. Like, when Tyson got knocked out by Buster Douglas. Like, what? Like, what is happening? It's crazy. It's like, like you said, you can be the better fighter. You could beat, win that fight nine out of ten times, and then just that one time is that night. Is that, that's what happens. Especially at a high level, right? Especially at a high level. It's like you can't make any kind of mistake. It, it's like on a regional level, say you make a little mistake, but they're not going to capitalize on it because they're just they're not smart enough, maybe, you know? It's like <laughs> a, a lot of, or like whatever it is, but then once you get up to a high level, it's like these people are good. If you make that one little mistake, then you're getting knocked out. You're getting subbed. You don't have those kind of opportunities. So it, it's definitely a, a learning experience there. There's also the difference between people that, that are fighting that train and people that train like you train. There, there's a big difference. The fact that you do it constantly and consistently, it's just such an advantage, I believe. Because, uh, you, you know, I mean, I know it just from training in jiu-jitsu. Even when I was training like four days a week, like really regularly – I would be in with those guys that are training five, six, seven days a week, and they would be getting better than me. Like, and I knew it. You could tell. You, it's in your head. Like, okay, do you want to go psycho and be here seven days a week? Or do you want to try to live a life? Like, how are you going to balance this? You know, they're going to get better than you. 